Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode we're going to cover something that really just became available in vMix 25. With vMix 25 it is now possible to change the color of your backgrounds and it's also possible to change the text color um, that you're using in your production and today that's what we're going to focus on. What we're going to be able to do now are these background images uh, using vMix UTC, we're going to be able to change these rather quickly. We won't have to continue to go back in GT Title Designer and change these background colors. We'll actually be able to do this just by using the hexadecimal color designations uh, for each one of these backgrounds. So it's going to make it very easy for us to do this. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at our vmix UTC layout that we're going to be using today. And there's not a whole lot going on there. You can see we have two columns. The blue column is for the visiting team. The red column is for the home team. And this is going to, this button right here, we're going to use to change the text color of the visiting team. This, uh, these buttons right here, we're going to use to change the background color of the visiting team. And we're doing this through data sources. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. And this button right here is to change the mascot. And we can do this very quickly now that we have it all in vMix UTC right at our fingertips. This right here are some hexadecimal uh, designations for different colors that I use uh, most frequently. And right here is how we change the score. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to go to uh, GT Title Designer. Now this is GT Title Designer and these are the elements that we're using today. As I've said before, I try to be very specific uh, in naming these different elements. I have visiting the score, home score, then I have the home image, visiting image, and then you can see the rest of them. But I try to be specific so that when we're do the, doing the mapping in a little bit, it's going to make it easier for us. If these designations are vague, it's going to make it a little, more, a little bit more difficult uh, for us when we go to do the mapping. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is the spreadsheet that we're using today. And it's, it's very simple. Uh, I just have three different uh, sheets here. I have visiting uh, back visiting team background color home team background color and then this last one which is complete layout uh, this is something I'm going to be um, uh, I'm working on for a future tutorial where all you're going to have to do is click on one particular line and it's going to change everything in your setup and then we'll be able to use the uh, vmix utc just to go up and down in this uh, table and it's going to change all the assets of a particular graphic uh, just by going up and down the rows in your excel spreadsheet the last thing i want to show you before we before we get started is um, how to bring an excel spreadsheet into your vmix production what we want to do is we'd want to go to the hamburger menu and we're going to click on the hamburger menu right here and then you're going to see where it says data sources so let's go ahead and click on data sources and this is how we bring it in it allows us to do several uh, different types of data sources we can do an excel spreadsheet which is what we're doing today you can do google sheets you can do json uh, you can do an rss feed uh, you can bring in plain text and then you can also do xml so then you go to settings and what we're using, like I said, is an Excel spreadsheet. And then what you do is you click the browser button right here and then you go to where that uh, Excel spreadsheet is. And it's right here. It's the one entitled background color tutorial. So then you just click on open and then it's going to bring this in. I normally check this box right here. It's used first row as column names and what that does is it's going to have these uh, in our choices so that we know exactly what column uh, we're mapping something to. If not, it would just say column one and column two, uh, but I like to have these names here. Let's see how this vMix UTC uh, spreadsheet is set up. The first thing is visiting team name, so let's look and see how we did that. All I did is uh, in the name section here, I just typed in visiting team and then through the drop down menu here, I choose a color. I normally use blue for my visiting team and home for my red team. It's just the way that I do it and it makes it simpler for me uh, on game day when I know that the blue team is always going to be, I mean that the visiting team is always going to be blue and the red team is always going to be red. How we mapped it is you go to the input. Select the drop down menu. The input that we're using for this information is background color change. And then under title, again, click the uh, um, drop down menu. And these are the different titles uh, within that graphic. 
this is for the uh, visiting team name we want to make sure that visiting team name is selected and then we'll click OK if you go over here this is for the home team it's the exact same setup except over here under title you'll notice it says home team name and this is the visiting text color this is a button widget and then what we're doing here is we're doing some scripting so I clicked on this plus button and it brought up these fields without anything in it the command that we're using is set text color uh, the input again is the background color change input the index that we're using you click this button right here and it brings up all the components it's going to bring up your text components and then it's going to bring up your image or source components uh, this one right here since this is visiting text color we want to make sure that we have index 3 which is visiting team name selected and then here is where the hexadecimal uh, color goes in and this one here is all zeros and you look up here and that means that it is black so for the visiting team the text color is going to be black so let's go ahead and bring in the logo and you can see this is the visiting team right here and the visiting team text is black uh, the next thing is the visiting background color and for this uh, we are using a data source and the command that we use is data source select row and all that does is it selects well I have it set up to select the very first row in that spreadsheet and we'll go back to the spreadsheet in just a minute but the three co uh, the, the three different pages to the spreadsheet were visiting background color home background color and complete layout so this one right here we're working with the visiting team so we're going to type in excel backslash capital s capital csv and it has to be this way it is case sensitive and it has to be capital letters then we use a comma with no space and then we use the name of the sheet that we're going to reference here and that is visitor background color and you'll be able to see that just by using these buttons we're able to change the background color so let's go back to what we had it set to originally which was the yellow uh, like I said before this one's going to take us back in our list and this is going to or actually up in the list and this one's going to take us down in the list let's go ahead and look at the mascot this right here is just a list widget and I have uh, most of the high school mascots uh, that we use I have them in this list and all we have to do is use the drop down button here and then we can change it to anything we want to let's go ahead and try uh, this one right here you can see that the logo changes let's try one more you can see the logo changes and let's take it back to the one we originally had and we're back to where we started the exact same thing is going on with these buttons so we're going to do it very quickly again set text color we're going to be using index 2 in this uh, for this button index 2 is the home team name and then this is the hexadecimal code that we're using for this particular color when we want to change the color all we have to do is come to this right here and then put in any of these hexadecimal uh, color code you can put as many colors in this list as you would like and I'll show you how I do that uh, really quickly how I get my hexadecimal color codes what I do is I go to GT title designer I just create a rectangle and then I go up to color and under that I come down to where it says gradient and then the gradient brings in this interface for us right here so anytime I want to uh, find a new color I click on these buttons right here and it brings up the color palette and whatever color you select wherever you punch in this uh, on this color palette it's going to bring up the hexadecimal code right here so then you just find a color you want and then you would go back and add it to the list uh, in our vmix utc layout all right so let's do some examples okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to change the background color and uh, i want to change it to orange and then we're going to go up here and we're going to change the uh team name real quick
and all I did was type in the visiting team field right here. I just typed in the name Fern Creek, and as you can see, it changed the name right here. And uh, we, when we set up the uh, score change, we used the data change function, which was zoom fade. So when we add points to them, it's going to kind of fade in like that. Let's go with another color scheme down here uh, for the home team. And uh, let's see, let's the, um, we'll choose, let's go ahead and choose the mascot first and we'll go with a, uh, okay, we'll go with South Oldham. They have a different uh, color scheme. So we'll go with the background. So we're gonna click on home background color and then we're just gonna go through these and we're gonna go with that green there. And then on home color text, uh, we wanna change that to a black. So we're gonna click on the button right here we're going to scroll down to where it says color and then we're going to type in the corresponding hexadecimal code for black and then we go back and we hit the button right here for home text color and it changes it to black and you can see how easy that is to do that's our tutorial for today i hope you found it informative if you like what we're doing here please give us a thumbs up and a like and please make sure that you subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted thank you